Testing one two, testing one two, testing one two. Hello, wrestling fans. It's an old cannon bear here with you from Charlotte, North Carolina, as we got another great Fury card coming up here with Method of Mayhem. And it should be an interesting one tonight. And uh, I'll tell you what, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm kind of like, uh, smell like the Cheshire Cat because uh, I guess because of Malachi, he's not in power anymore. And no, no, he's traded over to Fury. And there's a lot of people that won his hide on the plate. But we're going to start off first with uh, one uh, Mr. Chris Bat. And look at him. He got his hair cut, and now he's uh, he's keeping that dyed hair black hair. And he looks pretty, you know, he looks pretty suave. I'll tell you that much right now. Just to let you guys know right now that this show is TVMA. So if you're under 18, please to ask your parents' permission to watch this. As it's going to have adult situations and uh, coarse language. And I'll tell you that much right now, man. I'll, you know, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Should be an interesting show tonight. One of the main matches we got tonight, I guess, because Jerry Bennett has gotten an invite to uh, bring Bobby Lashley over here for a big matchup tonight. Even though Lashley is on the big-time wrestling roster, but Bennett made a, uh effort to Chris Bat to invite him over. And there's some big news going on with the, uh, we thought we were going to have a World Tag Team title match tonight, but uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to let Chris Pat explain that to you. And uh, it's pretty upsetting, I'll put it that way. I mean, yeah. But uh, let's get to let's get the ring right now as we see Chris Pat coming up to the ring right now. And look at Chris Pat, he must, he must be depressed from the news. Oh my gosh. You know, Chris Bennett, it's like, it's not bad enough that the general manager job is stressing in, uh, in the wrestling world, but it's bad, it's even worse enough when you're competing against another brand underneath, you're un underneath the overall brand. I'll tell you that much right now. Ever since this brand extension, it's been chaotic left and right because each one of these shows want their own, kind of like a uh, pot of gold briefcase, which now Big Time calls their briefcase the Big Time Opportunity and everything else, I mean... There's too much talent to contain. And we thought by just splitting up in two brands it would work. But it hasn't. I mean, it has, but to a point. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. I got some bad news here. I try to get a World Tag Team Tile rematch for Lorenzo and Wolfchild. But unfortunately, Blanchard told us that Merle and Fisher have decided to go to Vegas for the weekend. So... Best I can do is maybe next Friday. And I do apologize to you fans. I was hoping Hand has one of the big matches. But instead, I have signed up a really big match for you tonight. Christopher, the new MSW World Champion, is going to be defending the title against, get to us, Tri American Champion Am Strange. I mean, Tri American Champion John Monaco. And TV Champion Adam Strange. That's right, folks. Three-way dance. But you know what? I have given Lorenzo something better. And Wolfchild tonight. I have, I have given him a six-man match. We're going to team up with Mystery Sister against Evan Magnificent, Roman Reigns, and a guy to be named later. That's right, folks. Not Evan Magnificent. I mean uh, Malachi Aberwoff. I'm sorry. I'm getting my guys mixed up. I forgot Evan's still behind bars. Oh, somebody is not happy with that. As look who's coming out the ring. And look at Malachi just pointing the finger of death at him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is going to be interesting, folks. Oh, man. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Uh-oh. This is going to pick up, folks. Oh, boy. Fool. What well, makes you think I'm going to wrestle in this wretched stink pit that's called Fury? You know what? They took me away from my home in big time. Your boss, Rage Tonic, tr utmostly traded me and then stripped me of my duties. 
as general manager, all because I have a few little situations in Mother Russia. But, sir, that makes you a criminal. And let me tell you that much right now. Right now, you are, until you're proven innocent, right now, you are under secret server, or you are under supervision from the must-see wrestling offices. And I'm going to tell you that much right now, man. And uh, you know what? You keep it up, we may uh, kick you out of this federation, sir. Oh, ho, ho. Chris back on exile, exile me. Wow, you are you are some piece of work, Mr. Bat. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you are really something else, my friend. And you know what? You you gonna have to get a whole SWAT team to take me out. You will wrestle in that six-man match, though. I guarantee you that much right now or else. Right now, you can go... You and uh, Roman Reigns can go find another partner later on for tonight, you know? That's the thing about it. I'm going to bill you guys for that double main event. And you will wrestle. And I guarantee you that much right now. You better go find somebody. Fool. You know what? You did not give me a right to bring an invitational ticket for somebody to come over here. Let me tell you that much, Miss Right Now, Mr. Bat. You know what? You are you are screwing you are screwing me over. You are a tool. You hammer the problem. You like putting the you like putting the screws to me. Man, I'll tell you that much right now. Well, you know what? God, I guess everything that you have done wrong. It's coming back on you, buddy. And I'll tell you what, man. You mess with me, I'll tell you what. Maybe I might give you, maybe I might give you a bag of knuckle sandwiches to go along with your uh, attitude. You can take that to the bank, sir. <laughs> Old man Bat. Oh my gosh. Old man Bat's gonna try to beat me up, huh? Now what would happen? Now what would happen if I crippled you? You know what? That would not be good for your newborn baby, Anthony Michael. And would not be good for your young, luscious white jade. You know what? That yummy little treat that you got at home. Sir, I'm forewarning you. Do not pick on my wife. She has nothing to do with this. This is between me and you, buddy. And you know what? I'm going to tell you what. You... <laughs> You're getting me upset here, and I, I can't handle it. I'm about ready to snap here, man. So you got a choice tonight. You either show up, or else you don't have a job here with MSW. I'm going to tell you that much right now, Malachi. They can send you back to Mother Rush and put you in the electric chair, buddy, as long as I know. You probably murdered somebody. You probably... Hit them, uh, bury them under some kind of endangered plants, and where no nobody can't find them. Wow. Chris Bat sounding emotional after uh, Malachi took a jab at his wife, Jade, who's not even here right now. I'll tell you that much right now. This is this is gonna get pretty interesting. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, bad news about his burrow and Fisher. I guess decided to. Uh, Decided not to give uh, Lorenzo Wilcho the rematch until they said next Friday. So we gotta wait all the way till next Friday to see if Lorenzo Wilcho can add another immortal title reign to her credit. This is gonna be freaking messed up. I'll go to that much right now. But let's get on to the action here going on tonight. Oh, this is going to be an interesting matchup. We got AJ Styles versus Daddy. non title action because AJ Styles is over that weight limit. Let's put it that way. So AJ Styles cannot challenge for the light heavyweight title. 
But this is a special challenge match. As we got that going on. And I'll tell you what, man. Boy. That was emotional. I mean, you do not talk about that man's wife. He has loved Jade ever since her days when she had the substance abuse addiction and everything else. And uh, I'll tell you what. Basically, you know. I mean, wow. All right, folks, let's get going with this matchup, shall we? Yeah. There we go, folks. Beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. This is Flair country. You know, you know Flair's got to be coming back here tonight. You know that. No doubt about it. I think he might be in the corner for uh, at least Robert Morbid when he goes against Hanu Prenji tonight in the defense of his uh, Great Lakes title. They got Sam Strange and uh, John Monaco will be challenging Christopher tonight in a three-way dance. And the thing about that is that how come they're not putting their titles on the line? Uh, basically, is that they already defended them against Fury Wrestlers. Monaco defeated Blue Arrow at Halloween Havoc. And at that same card, Adam Strange defeated Robert McManus to retain the TV title, which was a really damn good matchup. I'll tell you that much right now. And uh, right now you see the phenomenal one. The guy has done everything. Won titles in TNA. He's won titles in Ring of Honor, Japan, WWE. This guy has done it all. And I remember when he was a young, young tyke in uh, NWA Wildside. Of course, he was in the power plant with WCW when him and Aero Paris were uh, tag teaming for the Cruiserweight title, uh, tag team titles at one time. Yeah, there is such a thing, the cruiserweight titles. That means each guy's got to be under the cruise. They got to be at the cruiserweight win limit or underneath it. That is, that is a true thing, my friend. And of course, not not with Daddy tonight. It's Jake Roberts, as Jake Roberts is tending the business in AEW with his other charge that he's got down there, Lance Archer, aka the Murderhawk. So. This is going to be interesting, folks. I'll tell you that much right now. We got some AEW talent rolling around here. I mean, uh, they're, going to, they're going to be here, but man, they got one hell of a short flight to get back to Florida, and uh, luckily enough, it's not going to be that short of a flight. Let's put it that way. So thank, thank good. It's not going to be that long of a flight. It may be, uh, I think... From North Carolina, Florida, it's going to be about an hour. It might be, if they're lucky, maybe about an hour. But the weight and the jet lag might take it a toll on their matches tomorrow night. I'll tell you that much right now. Who the heck knows who's going to be coming up here? Of course, one of those guys, uh, one of those people are on the MSW roster, but she's with Big Time Wrestling. Is the NWA Women's Champion Serena Deeb, and she's been uh, she has been opening up a lot of eyes on Big Time Wrestling. She came close to winning that ten woman Rumble the other night, that Cheyenne won, and of course, we, well, thank goodness we're gonna have that match tonight, so that's good. Sarah Perry is not, yeah, Sarah Perry is not gonna chicken out of that one. And that was because, uh, well, Melody McMahon, or Melody Torment, did not bother to put the rematch clause in her contract. And since that, Melody Torment's been very upset, very distraught. Well, let's get going with this matchup. AJ Styles against Daddy. And there we go, folks. And, oh, man, he just nailed him quickly. Wow. Running kick. And you got referee Johnny, Johnny Gumball there. And Daddy rolling over on AJ Styles. There's been rumors that, you know, with this controversy, I think I heard rumors that the committee here at Must See Wrestling may get rid of the Cruiserweight title. I mean, the uh, light heavyweight title and just call it an X Division title. 
That means no weight, no limits, no anything. I mean, uh, yeah, let's put it that way. It'd just be like another heavyweight towel, basically. I mean, Daddy has really shook, uh, shooken up this uh, light heavyweight division. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, I gotta admit, Daddy's been pretty impressive. He suffered two losses, his debut loss. And he suffered another loss in a ladder match, but uh, you know what? Ever since then, he's been on terror. I mean, we saw him defeat Masao Tanaka when, uh, Tuesday night in Big Time Wrestling. What a big grab that was from Big Time, I gotta admit. Masao Tanaka is an incredible athlete, and unfortunately, you know what the problem with that? You know what the thing that Daddy has over everybody? The reach. He's got long arms. He could stay away from somebody's move and grab them while he's at it. I mean, that's the thing about it. Uh-oh, AJ going right. Oh, AJ with a beautiful suplex. AJ is not going to take this line down. There's, there's a reason why he comes a phenomenal. And right now, AJ working on that arm. A daddy trying to neutralize one of those long, long sticks of an arm, basically. And now AJ going right up to Daddy. Oh, there's a chop. Oh, and he just, oh man, see right there. Daddy was able to stand the distance and grab AJ while he was at it. That's what makes Daddy very dangerous. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh man, nails him. And uh oh, oh, kicking right at the leg. That's. That's where we're going to do a job on the thigh and knee. Oh my gosh. And right now, Daddy just stomping away. And, uh oh, AJ's got an answer here. AJ is a great Kellen Russell. You give him that opportunity, he's going to find that opening. And, oh, there's that elevated knee drop. Right up, got some height on that knee drop. And uh, I'm actually surprised it did not bust Daddy open. Oh, there's a beautiful snap suit. By phenomenal one. We still don't know who he uh, traded uh, to get Malachi. I guess we'll find out down the road. And Daddy going to work on AJ now with that. Uh, oh, now he's got him. Uh oh. Oh, TKO. And uh, what the heck is this guy even staying at Cruiserweight for? He. He puts his own against the heavyweights really damn well. Is he afraid of something? I think if I was the committee, I would elevate this guy to heavyweight. He's too good. He's too good to stay in the light heavy. He's too good to stay in the light heavyweight division. Really too good. I gotta admit. I'd love to see how he would take on the big guns of uh, Fury and Big Time. I mean, he's been given the power hitting veterans like. Sanders and uh, basically put it that way. He's been given a power hitting veterans like Masao Tanaka and Bryce Sanders, and uh, he's done well against them. And Daddy right now making making some work out of. Uh, oh man, he's got the Anaconda Vice, but he's too close to the ropes. I'm pretty sure AJ could have grabbed that. I'm pretty sure he's a veteran and he knows where they. He knows always knows where his position is at. Going for the pin. Oh, and AJ catches them. Oh, man. Talk about some baloney right there, man. Pastrami, sir. Now, of course, uh, Nova wants to defend that. Wants to, oh, and there's that phenomenal forearm. Oh, my gosh. That's a game changer. And AJ Styles gets the victory. Holy cow. Big win. Big win for AJ Styles. Wow. Daddy goes one and one. That's not bad. You know what? Some people just kill to go five, 500 uh, 
when you're uh, taking on multiple matches in a week. No doubt about it. Well, maybe not. Uh, you know what? Nova, Nova will be in a match this week, but uh, I think she can uh, freely uh, defend the Universal title because we were looking at who was number uh, three on that list because it was Cheyenne who won it. Mandy Rose was second, and Asia Call was third. So, uh, technically, Mandy Rose... Uh, couldn't get that shot without even, well, even using the big time briefcase. I'll tell you that much right now. man here we go wow all right folks let's get to the next matchup shall we And the war continues between Yurahar Shoten and the the, the, w, the Horsewomen. As we got your reaching Sakura Miura taking on Charlotte and Bailey tonight. I think if I heard tonight also that uh Kasuki and uh Kasuki and uh, what's his face? Uh, Green Me is gonna have a match tonight. Yeah, so we're gonna have to, have to see that tonight also. Oh, really? Is that what's happening? Okay. Wow. Fans, I just heard something. Her Hardy's gonna be defending Tri American titles against Green Meanie and the uh, Kasuki Urahara. Wow. There you go, folks. You heard there, folks. Yeah. And this is Tornado Tag Rules, so that means, uh, let's put it this way. That means, uh, all four women can be in the ring at the same time. And, uh, yeah. So there you go. And there is Yurohar Shoten, and of course, there is Sakura Miura wearing that beloved Cleveland Monster Club t-shirt. Now, if you're a member of Facebook, join their group, see if you can get an invitation. Run by uh, MSW superstar Rubber Morbid, and of course, Lorenzo, a.k.a. Stretch, along with a few great other great people on there. Tanisha and, uh, I think, what's her name, I think Elizabeth, if I'm correct, and, uh, Eric so check them out on YouTube and everything else uh, I think YouTube is uh, let me check and see here for a second here I'll, I'll check this out right now on my uh, phone here to see who is uh, what what page you look under yeah really great stuff they talk about certain horror movies which is neat and there's Bailey right there. She shouldn't even be having that title because I think, coincidentally, she lost it to her partner in crime, Sasha Banks. Okay. So we promise you at least next Friday, Merle and Fisher will have to come down here to defend the titles against Lorenzo and Wolfchild. I do apologize for that. You know what, that's, uh, you know what, but I was always coming around here rustling. Okay, uh, her name is Eva Nell, Eva Nell 
Brett, Brett Rager. I hope I said that correctly. If I didn't, please uh, forgive me. I do apologize. Yeah, she's got a lot of stuff on the uh, Cleveland Monster Club on her YouTube page, and pretty neat. They were just over at a uh, recently, if you, didn't, if you uh, didn't check it out, they were over at a uh, little flea market in Lakewood during the Halloween season. Really great. So check them out there on Cleveland Monster Club. And of course, they'll be seeing winner. They'll be seeing two of the prominent members wrestle here tonight. Reverend Morbid will be defending his against Hanu Prenji, and it'll be Lorenzo Wolfchild and Resistor taking on the tandem of Malachi Abramoff, Roman Reigns, and our mystery partner. And that'll be in the double main event tonight. If I got anybody's name there, you know what? If I got anybody, if I got anybody's name there uh, wrong, uh, please let me know, and I do apologize. I'm still trying to get used to this as uh, Vampiro Seven Twelve is trying to feed me the information. Another popular show outside the wrestling world that's really popular on YouTube: Backyard Living. That is done by MSW superstar Jerry Bennett and current Universal Champion, and of course. Uh, his son, former MSW superstar, Matt Bennett. Check them out, definitely. It would be greatly appreciated, and I would greatly appreciate it too. That means, uh, yeah, it's great stuff. I mean, they recently did a pumpkin go-kart, which was pretty uh, fun to look at. And while we're uh, doing it, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll mention a few more names on here, basically. Check out Prince McCall, who runs three different federations. I think uh, there's uh, FTW, CTL, and one, one more other one, but... He's got some pretty good stuff going on there. Vince McCham's another great one to check out as he did his own rendition of the United Wrestling Network title tournament. We also got the Iron Taylor who's running the IC, I think the ICW if I'm correct, or LCW. It's hard to tell with that uh, long L. It's like it's, you don't know if it's a small L or a capital I. Then of course you got Shockwave Wrestling, which is still going on and it's like, okay, what is going on with Obsidian? Are they going through one heck of an ad to change? What is going on with those two? I'm surprised. I'm shocked. And I'm surprised. I wonder what would be interesting with Malachi because I heard rumors that Malachi was uh, going in their uh, locker room. And of course they did request their own locker room there tonight and that's where we got some of the uh, popular MSW superstars are up in arms. But of course, I guess when you're a tag team champions, I guess uh, you can request anything, I guess. Even if you want your Big Mac on uh, just a patty with the pickles and a uh, special sauce on a plate, with a knife and a fork. And I'll tell you what, in trouble right now is Jurahara Shoten. I mean, ever since them and Susu Cho, they have had a problem with these, uh, with this uh, terrible trio of uh, Charlotte and Bailey and uh, Sasha Banks, for that matter. Of course, Sasha gets a title shot at Ray Ripley later on tonight. Of course, next week, uh, I think I heard Dana Brooke might be making an appearance down there to defend her Queen of the Wasteland title. It's been booked. 
We try like to, uh, we like to try to basically, if we can, have the champion, I guess from what the Rage Tonic and Committee does, and uh, it's a good thing. They like to try to get the champions maybe to be on one show one week and maybe on the other show the next week, which is not bad at all. So you can, they can have, they can be like the Van Halen's of wrestling and be like best of both worlds. Eddie, we miss you, buddy. We, we really miss you. And you're reach, you trying to make Bailey submit with that dragon sleeper, but unfortunately does not get it. And uh, yeah, that left the opening for Bailey to break up that pinfall that Miro was going to have on Charlotte. Now I heard a rumor that, uh, that there may be a possible rumor that uh, the winners of these matches may get a future tag team title shot. I mean, there's one, there's one team that's only one team that's got an opportunity, maybe, with their victory over Carmella and Natalia the other night, and that would be Mona and Raquel. I mean, could it be possible again that Sarah Perry can rule the world in singles action and? Uh, what the heck is it? Uh, Mona and Raquel Wolves in the, in the tag team world? I think it can be. I mean, that, 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 now, you know, I, I call Bailey, Charlotte, and uh, Sasha a terrible threesome. But you know what? Sarah Perry, Mona, and Raquel are a terrible threesome. And you're reaching with the Dragon Sleeper on Charlotte. Is she gonna make Charlotte, Charlotte tap? Oh, oh man, she is wrenching on that neck, and Yorichi's like, yeah, screw it, enough. And unfortunately, she should just uh, attack her while she was down because that that gave Charlotte the opportunity. Oh my gosh. And uh oh, oh turnbuckle power bomb. One of the most dangerous moves I've ever seen in the world here today. Oh my gosh. And they say the pile driver's dangerous. I think that turnbuckle power bomb can attack and take somebody. I swear to goodness. Oh, and Charlotte just drop kicks Sakura. Wow. Right in the kisser. Oh man, in a beautiful suplex. Oh my gosh. Golly G Wiz. And right now, Charlotte being sent in the corner. As Miura, uh oh, that's the Sakura elbow. Oh, a drought. Going for the pin, uh, but unfortunately Bailey was there to quickly break it up because Miura, uh, because Yorichi got knocked out to the side of the ring. I'll tell you what, that's what makes Bailey and Charlotte very dangerous because they know where their uh, spots are at. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, Tornado DT. Oh, and that carpet has no give. It may provide a little protection, but not really much. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh, man. Hey. Not much, Takamoto. How about yourself, sir? Sorry about that. I, I, was, just, I was just too busy blabbing here. I, I apologize, man. That would be an awesome threesome, sir. You're talking about Sarah Power Perry. I bet you're talking about Sarah Perry, Mona Raquel, which is, which is, I'll tell you that much. Oh man, and Bailey just got dropped with that back suplex. Wow. Kind of like a Saido suplex. Kind of like the backdrop driver, I guess you can call it almost. Kind of like a variation. Which is like a very which is like a very dangerous back suplex. And there's a little revenge for Yorichi and Sakura. How about that? Oh my gosh. Either, yeah. <laughs> Either, gotcha. But which one is your mind leaning towards you toward the most, Mr. Takamoto? Huh? Huh? Uh, there's the big $100,000 question, but don't answer that properly because I don't have the 100000 on me. I might have to take a loan from Abramoff.
And I don't think he'll give it to me after I talk bad about him, talking about him being out of power and trade it over here to Fury. But there's your winners right there. Yorichi and Sakura Miura. Wow. Big win. Very big win. You missed the notification that you were alive? Yeah, you know what they... Hey, that's all right, man. It's all good. Yeah, hey, you're better late than never, I guess. Hey, not a problem. Greatly appreciate it, sir. All right, let's get the next matchup, shall we? Ah, Tag Team Extreme Rolls right here, folks. Robert McManus and the Blue Arrow, who uh, came up short in their title matches at Halloween Havoc, are going to be going against Nakamura and... Naito. Which one I prefer, whichever one will have me. I don't know, man. That's a good question. Hey, you never know. I think Sarah Perry is technically single because uh, she's just using Vampiro for uh, TV time, I think. I don't know. But, you know what, I, I, I'm just going to leave it at that. But, uh, hey, what can you do when she's she's got the hottest piece, uh, selling uh most uh, popular piece of merchandise on Shop MSW? I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no, that's your answer? Gotcha. Okay, got All right. Hey, well understood. Let me go share this on Facebook right now they are, that we are running the show here. Let's get the ring right now, shall we? I'll tell you that much right now. I'll just be happy to be drafted. <laughs> gotcha. In that kind of way, yeah. I think everybody would be happy to be drafted in that kind of way. No doubt about it. I'll tell you that much. Well, like I said, not, yeah, you know what? Hey, they were... You know, we don't call them really draft uh, sign, and we don't call them really draft picks. We call them uh, free agent signees. That's whatever uh, one uh, that one of the Jews the brand. But you know what? I gotta admit, I, you know what? I'll admit right now. You know, I know supposed I'm supposed to plug my own brand. I gotta admit, big time could give one for the money. No doubt about it. Big time's got a great roster. I mean, a big feud that's going on, I think, down there right now is the main event mafia taking on Blanchard Enterprises. I'll tell you that much right now. And how about the, the I'll tell you what, uh, I cannot believe Nick Aldis tried to draft Corey Crichton in the main event mafia and then pounded him after uh, Corey was going to try and make a demand. I guess he wanted Adam Strange to come in the group because... Uh, Corey Crichton has been training Adam Strange in the fine art of wrestling. And uh, you can tell by the teachings that Adam Strange has been successful. And that's the reason why he's being put in his main event tonight for the MSW title. It's him, Tri American John Monaco are going to both challenge the MSW title tonight. And I wonder what Christopher's got to say about it. I know Christopher was cussing up a fit Tuesday night when. Uh, Michelle Marquis, this, I mean, Michelle Marquis and Ray Steig decided to put on the line if Christopher lost, Tracy Torment would have to leave MSW, but luckily enough, 
Christopher won the match and the title, so therefore Tracy's still here. And then as a result, we don't get a 30-man special rumble night to decide a new world champion because Christopher has that title in host under hostage right now. That's what the fans call it. Under it's a hostage situation. And just think, Christopher was one of the, was uh, was a very beloved athlete starting in here. Then all of a sudden, he got an ego and uh, he let women coerce him. And now he's got now he's got the uh, evil cougar mama herself, Tracy Torment, give him orders. I think he, I think what the rumor is tonight. I think Christopher's going to be out of here for a. Uh, Promo and I think Tracy bought him a, a nice pink suit I heard. Well let's get this bout going here as we we don't want to take away from these four great combatants here. We got two former IWGP champions, a former MSW and a former multi-time MSW light heavyweight champion. So there's a lot of uh, gold that was held here between these four individuals. Naito, of course, was an MSW world champion. And Nakamura was actually one of the people that could say he beat Corey Crichton for the, and it was for the WWL world title. And Arrow, I'm gonna give it to Naito. Oh man, and a headbutt to Nakamura by McManus. And oh, what a counter by Nakamura, stun gun. There's some shades, uh, shades of stunning Steve Austin who was on the big time roster who recently lost their big time opportunity briefcase back to one Jericho window. And of course the ones that hold the briefcases right now here in uh, Fury is Chris Statlander for females and the male briefcase is Ronnie Taylor. And right now McManus, oh! McManus with a beautiful flatliner to Nido. Oh man, right, right on the arm. And Naito, oh, and Arrow blocking it. I'm actually surprised, oh! What the heck? Did Big Man do that deliberately? What the heck? He just walked up to Arrow and kicked him. What is going on here? Wow. Is he getting a little jealous here right now? What the heck? I'm shocked. Wow. Oh boy, what's he gonna do here, and... Oh, gosh. That was painful. He hung him up on the top turnbuckle, and then Nakamura drove that knee into his ribs. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, man. The question I want to know right now with the main event mafia: Are they going to still are they are they still going to are they still going to pursue Crichton or uh, is that finished with or uh, what's going on there? I mean, you got the forefather of the uh, main event mafia, which would be Sting, definitely, because he was the original member and he's the only original member that's still around that group right now. His angle right now is with Billion Dollar Destruction. And God knows where Nash and Hall, uh, I mean Nash and, uh, not Hall, I would say Nash and Booker T are at. Oh, almost a three count. Boom is right. Yeah, that, if you're talking about that knee and the ribs, that was a boomy move. And so is that DDT by Arrow on uh, Naito. And Naito is busted open because of it. Oh, uh, we got, we got, we got some kind of, uh, we got some kind of tweet going on here. Oh no, it's a text on my phone coming from somebody saying, ha ha, daddy got beat by, 
Daddy got beat phenomenally. Oh, and Chaos wins. Are you kidding me? Wow. Clayton will not lower himself to join the main event mafia. Well, you know what? That's a that's a good point because Clayton, uh, even though he has no titles right now, he's still, I guess people still consider, consider him like one of the top athletes, but they do have a common enemy in Blanchard Enterprises. That's the problem. That could be, that's where they're probably capitalizing on. I mean, since Fisher betrayed Crichton, and you can say that Fisher was the guy that basically caused Crichton to lose that universal title to Jerry Bennett. I'll tell you that much right now. But Chaos, stealing a victory for McManus and Blue Arrow, wow. What is going on here? And you know, there was one key element in that match where McManus ran and hit Arrow. And there was nobody in the way. He hit her. He just, I don't know if he couldn't stop himself or what. I'll tell you that much right now, man. We still got more action still to come here. I think the main event for this first one, first segment is going to be great against uh, Terminus for the uh, Simmel Wasteland title. Crichton has nothing to gain. You know what? You're, you're probably right, but you know what? I, You know what? It, they will reap all the benefits of Corey? May, maybe, but you know what? Crichton could probably... Uh, yeah, Crichton could probably... Get some fatherly advice from Sting. I mean, Sting is a great person. Who would I rather have? I guess it would be uh, like a lot of people would say, who would you rather have advising you, Sting or Ric Flair? I'll tell you what. Hey, uh, real, real Chaz Bad, hello. Right now, if you don't know, Chaz Crossbones Foreman is out right now, pertains to some medical issues after losing that title to Christopher. Him and Viper are going to be on the uh, not able to work shelf, basically. I think that's what they call it. Uh, I guess they have declared himself injured because of the uh, medical issues. But there's Ronnie Taylor right there, the newly crowned NWA champion. And the story I keep hearing is that Ronnie got that belt. He got that pink paint off that strap. Thank goodness. I mean, that's always a possibility, too. I mean, you know what? Uh, yeah, Sting is like one of the forefathers of wrestling. It's like, what, what would I rather, who I would I rather train from, Sting or Ric Flair? I mean, Ric Flair is one of the dirtiest players in the game, and uh, you know what? I, I, he, he's respected, but you know what? It, you know what? It feels great, fans. I'll tell you what. I came back the oldest title in the world, the NWA World title. And you know what I just did to it this weekend? I got the belt back to normal color strap. No more pink, buddy. Yes. And it is awesome. You know what's even greater? I have that pile of gold briefcase. Shed in at any freaking time. And I'm going to tell you that much right now. Would I cash in against my friend Jerry Bennett? You know what? Nah. I think I would rather go after the MSW World title. If Bennett did not have the Universal title, I would go after a Universal title. I'll tell you that much right now. But tonight, I want to make a challenge. You know what? Since Christopher's not even going to worry about it because I've seen how he stole the title from Jazz Foreman. So, you know what? I'm calling out an open challenge for his NWA world title. I don't know if the NWA committee made a credit to uh, bring anybody down here to challenge me for this belt, but I'm ready for it.
Whoa, hold the lights here, folks. That's Eddie Kingston, the dirtiest, one of the dirtiest fighters on the independent scenes. Holy cow. What the heck? Are you, get out of town. Wow. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're making an open challenge? I'll tell you what. I'm going to step right up to it because I talked to the NWA committee. I, I said I would bring back that title to their circuit with no problem. You know something? Dollar Tree Baron Corbin? Yeah, DTBC. You're, you know what? You're just holding on to that on borrowed time. Oh, that's fine. Step on up, Eddie. I'll take you on tonight, sir. You know what? I heard about you. I heard about the reputation you had in Combat Zone and all the trouble you caused the NWA and also Impact and AEW and stuff like that. Well, good luck on your I Quit match tomorrow against John Moxley. That's going to be impossible to do. I got a feeling you're going to wind up losing that one. You know what? You better shut your mouth, you little chrome though. Let me tell you something right now, Ronnie. You you complain about you complain about some kind of fraud going on here? I'll tell you one fraud you're not gonna complain about, and that's title loss fraud, because you know what? I'm gonna beat you outright, boy. Let me tell you that much right now. The king of hardcore is here, Eddie Kingston. Let me tell you something right now, Eddie. Your, your big words don't scare me. I have been on the circuit for a while. I have held every title there is. I mean, this NWA title is something really big. And you know what? I don't know if you can handle something really big. Oh, believe me, I can. Let me tell you something right now, Taylor. You're not going to be seeing fire and rain tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. You're going to be singing blood and te blood and broken teeth after I get done with you. I'm going to, yeah, you know what? I am just going to mangle you. I'm going to spit on you. Because you're going to be an ugly carcass if I get done with you. You know what? I'm tired of your words, man. We'll get this on, man. I'm going to tell you that much right now. How about we sign up for the next segment tonight? I'll tell you what, you got it. Kingston, Taylor, NWA, world freaking title. Let me tell you that much right now. And there's nothing you can do about Kingston when I beat you. You're stupid. I'm gonna tell you that much right now, Ronnie boy. You are, you are dumb, dumb, dumb. I'll tell you, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, oh man, that, that was horrible. Eddie Kingston, wow. Are you, f oh man. And now Ronnie lay it out, holy cow. Who's Eddie? Eddie Kingston is one of the toughest hardcore fighters there is. So this guy has uh, made a career out of it in the IWA Mid-South and Ring of Honor and Impact. We where he's been at, wherever it is, uh, he's been there. You name it, he's been there. No doubt about it. And tomorrow he's got a big AEW World Title match against Moxley and I quit match tomorrow. I mean, that's going to be something. And Taylor a little bit troll. Oh, man, man. Yaka's a kick in a corner. Oh my gosh, man. And right now, ooh, Manhattan drop. Oh, was that the back fist of the future? No, Ronnie fights back here, folks. I'll tell you, oh, wow. Drops it. Wow. Ronnie not taking his line. Oh, and he gets nailed with a nasty clothesline. Another one. Oh, man. He's a journeyman for sure. A lot of miles on those boots. Yeah, much agreed. Definitely. But, man, I'll tell you what. That's going to be one heck of a matchup tonight.
But coming up next, we got Sasha Banks against Rhea Ripley for the TV title. Yeah, he's known for that back fist, all right? It's called the, I think if I heard correctly, it's called the back fist to the future. Definitely. That is a nasty move, too. He, he throws that spin back fist really well. I wonder if he's brought any of his friends like Phoenix or Pentagon or Butcher to Blade or maybe even Homicide for that matter. Who knows? But right now we're going to go to the uh, this TV title match. Yeah, Shikara. Yeah, I forgot about that one. I forgot about that one too, Shikara. Yeah, a lot of famous people made it from there. Dalton Castle, Johnny Gargano was among some of the people there. Yeah. I think uh, one guy from Championship from Wrestling from Hollywood was there too. What's his name? Uh, Jervis Cottonbelly. Who runs the uh, Friendship Farm. Yes. You saw Kingston against Chris Hill live. Man, kick kicked each other in the face so hard. Oh, man. I wonder what Chris Hill's doing now since he got released from uh, WWE. Yeah, that's a good question. Where, where has he been hanging around at? And there is Ray Ripley right there going against Sasha Banks tonight. Of course, Yorichi and uh, Yorichi and uh, was it uh, Sakura Mira ruined the uh, ruined the chance for uh, Bale and Charlotte to win. Question is, is is the uh, is the three horse women gonna wind up losing going 0 for two tonight? That's gonna be the question. Both fine ladies. I I, I figured you would say that, Eric. Uh huh. Sorry, man. I think Sasha's got her eye on somebody by the name of McManus. She's looking to break up that marriage of Sasha ben uh, of uh, Robert McManus and Susu Chow. Yeah, Hero's Hero was always a good one. I remember when he used to do that rolling elbow all the time. Definitely. One of my favorite tag teams, as I remember, was uh, Chris Hero and uh, Cesaro when they were in Ring, uh, rings of uh, Ring of Honor, known as the Kings of Wrestling. And that was a very good tag team, I gotta admit. Very good. Of course, managed by the... Uh, Great Larry Sweeney. Sweet and sour himself. Yeah. That's when Sweeney had also Sarah Del Rey in that group too at the time. But it's time to hear in the back saying Christopher saying that he's the king of the mountain. You just found out news about that, Fez? He's been saying that all day today. We had to put up with that annoying, uh, put with that annoying little guy, uh, basically saying that. And I heard rumors is that Tracy bought him a nice pink suit for his promo. Well, later on, Christopher's going to have to do... Sweeney was awesome, definitely. I agree. 
I used to like watching the guy a lot on promos. Oh, and a Miura beautifully done by Rhea Ripley. Wow. I don't think Rhea Ripley's going to take this uh, challenge lying down. I'll tell you that much right now. Rhea Ripley, a popular star among the fans here, and what a beautiful dragon suplex. Oh my gosh. Rhea Ripley taking it to Sasha Banks. Oh. A couple stumps there, one, two stumps there. Promos and straws, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Sweeney was all, yeah, Sweeney was great to watch. Oh man, missed the punch and that's where Sasha grabs the opening, sends her over the top and uh-oh. Oh, not good, uh-oh. Legs are tied up. Right to, oh, man, nasty. Nasty neck. Nasty neck breaker. Oh my gosh. And now Ray Ripley. Oh, and Ray Ripley just got nailed in the back. And now Ray giving it to uh, Sasha in the corner. And oh, high knee to the face. Oh man. Oh, Ray Doll power bomb. Beautifully done. Going for the pin. Can't get it. Can't get it, folks. Oh, and there's a high kick to the face, and oh man, she she gave her back what uh, Sasha gave her earlier—a a punch from behind. Oh man. And now, Rhea grabbing uh, Sasha. Oh, gut wrench into a power bomb. Beautifully done by the. Uh, TV champion and uh oh what is she gonna do here oh man a form of black mass wow going for the pin no nah, gets out of it Sasha's been on a streak as of late because she has uh, scored a numerous number of victories against uh oh dragon twist 18 she has scored a numerous number of victories against Susu Chow Oh man. And Sasha throwing uh Ripley in the corner. Oh drop kick in the back. Oh man. Could this be the opening that the uh, boss needs? The so-called boss? Well she is acting like a boss because basically she is running a winning streak. Oh but that win streak may be in danger at the app move. And there's an elbow right in the face of Sasha. Oh boy, where's this now? Oh, detonation kick. Kind of like a detonation kick. Going for the pin. No, Sasha Banks. Are you kidding me? Sasha Banks kicks out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, going for it again, it looks like. There's the big setup. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, boy. Here we go. Home panel slam. I think she calls a sidewinder slam or something like that. And Rhea Ripley retains the TV title and Sasha Bailey and Charlotte goes 0-2 tonight. Wow. And there's your winner right there. And Sasha, what oh, what the heck? Wow. Are you kidding me? I guess it's not Susie Chell, so she's going she's gonna to shake hands with Ray, I guess. Wow.
There you go, folks. What a matchup. I'll tell you that much right now. Well, folks, stay tuned. I guess coming up next, we got... Uh... The Simo Wasteland Championship. Grit is going to challenge Terminus tonight. <laughs> Boo sportsmanship. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. I know, 2K is good for doing that. Here we go, folks. Ready to get this bout going. And Grit's still wearing that eye patches. He's got, uh, yeah, that, yeah, that eye is still bothering him from uh, being messed up from AJ Styles in the Bullet Club. Or I should say the, uh, yeah, Gals and Anderson, folks. folks. That's the line of the night by uh, by Mr. Takamoto there. Boo sportsmanship. Yeah, definitely. I guess you don't expect it from somebody like Sasha Banks, but it just happened there. And uh, But, of course, we all know 2K. They're good for uh, dropping the ball on that. And there is the Simo Wasteland champion himself, Terminus, as we're getting ready for his Extreme Rules matchup. Should be a good one tonight. I'll tell you that much. There you go, folks. This is going to be interesting, folks. Watching. <laughs> I just boo in general. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, Harold. Gotcha. You just boo in general. 
Understood, man. Understood. And there is grit right there. Still bandage up. He's still got that eye patch over his thing. I mean, I mean, he, he must have suffered a terrible eye injury at the hands of AJ Styles and the and the Bullet Club, but it's been even worse because he's been going through fights with Hanu Premji. Of course, Hanu later on gets tonight gets a shot at Reverend Morbid for the Great Lakes title. It has no place in wrestling. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, oh, Ring of Honor, we love you, Dad. <laughs> well, of course, there is the uh, symbol of sign title showing the grit. And there's the referee holding it up. And get ready for this one, folks. Here we go. Oh, and Grit going right after uh, Turnus. He's going to see if he can break this losing streak he's got going on. I mean, unfortunately, he lost a he lost a bad one as him and the uh, cousins of Carnage, the threatened militia man, lost to Hanu Prunji, Brock Lesnar, and Kurt Angle in a Hell in a Cell six-man mayhem match at Halloween Havoc. It was Prunji getting a pin on the threat for the victory. And right now, Turnus, oh, belly to belly. Beautifully done by the big, massive Russian superstar. <laughs> I stand by my comments, ROH included. <laughs> oh man, that's funny, that's great. And right there we see Grit getting choked by uh, Turnus and his legal in an Extreme Rules match, folks. And oh, oh man, the strength of Terminus. Wow. I'm telling you that much right now. And uh oh, oh, bat breaker. Oh my gosh. Vicious, man. Just plain vicious. But it is for a title, so that means it brings out the best and the most aggressive in, a, in an athlete when you're doing that. No doubt about it. And right now, he just got, he just got waylaid by uh, Turnus. Now, I wonder what the deal with Eddie Kingston is. He gonna, is he just there to try to grab the NWA title back? Or is he going to be here for a long term? Is going to be a question. Who knows? That's going to be the question. Oh, and... Uh, Brett's going to take advantage of that Extreme Rules option. Then just grab whatever he can from underneath the ring and use it. But he gets caught by Terminus and... Oh, what a shin breaker. Oh my gosh. And Terminus uh, going right after Brett here. Oh, missed uh, dashing. Uh, I guess he was trying his own version of rolling elbow. And he rolled uh, right at nothing. And Turnus gets caught for it. So far we had uh, one we have one title on the line tonight. Now is the women's TV title. And Ray Ripley did retain that against Sasha. Oh man, and uh, man, that's what that Britt is just nailing Turnus with the baseball bat. Oh, now he's got the hammer, man. What does he think he is, Thor? And right now, what a kick. Oh, man, and really right away. Oh, and Terminus fights back. So this fight is far from over. Oh, boy. Oh, ow. Like I said, once again, that carpeting has some protection, but not a whole hell of a lot. Puts him back in the ring. Gets back in there. Oh, boy. It may be the end of the line for Grit if he's not careful. And, oh, man, what a defensive move there by Grit as he 
Clearly an elbow, but looks like Turnus may be uh, working his way towards it again. And oh, oh, did he rip at that cut? And there's an old school atomic drop. Shades of Hulk Hogan right there, folks. Oh. Oh, and there's that backdrop suplex. Oh, my gosh. That's that suplex that goes in the backdrop. And now, Grit setting up. Oh, Grit setting up. Oh. Grit end. Oh, man. Unbelievable. What a move by Grit. Could be it. Rope break will not matter here in this matchup. And no. Oh, my gosh. Not quite. And Grit cannot believe it. Oh, my gosh. Grit cannot believe it, folks. Oh, clothesline. Another clothesline. Grit getting rubbed up. Uh oh. He's thinking like uh, maybe the pack moves. This could be it, man. And oh, man, he dropped him. Knocked him out. No. Oh, once again, oh. Oh boy. Oh, man. Going for the pin. This could be it. And that's it, Grit wins the Symbol Wasteland Championship. Oh my gosh. Tell you that much right now, unbelievable. And Turner's not too happy, uh-oh. Oh, man, he just knocked down Johnny Gumbo. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. And Turnus is going to be probably fine for his whole paycheck tonight. Well, folks, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a, uh, a little bit of a break here, but we'll be back with another segment, so please do stay tuned.